So in this video we learn how to make a celtic pattern. Go to shape tool and select the rounded rectangle tool. In the pop up window, select the width to 68 pixel, the height to 396 pixel, and the corner radius to 75 pixel and hit OK. Then go to window appearance. Click on the stroke and set its color to white from the color palette and set the stroke size to 10 point. Then click on add new stroke, set the stroke color to black and the size to 20 point. Click on the down arrow of the fill color and in the color palette choose none. Either go to edit and select copy and paste to make a duplicate copy or press ctrl plus c and then ctrl plus v on your keyboard in order to copy and paste the shape in place. Select both shapes and right click and select group or you can press ctrl plus g on your keyboard to group them. Then again copy and paste both shapes then right click, transform, rotate. Select the angle to 90 degree and click OK. Select all the objects and press Ctrl plus Y on keyboard to make outlines. Then go to Object, Expand. Be sure to check both Fill and Stroke in the Expand window dialog and click OK. Then again press Ctrl plus Y. Then set the fill color to white. Select the Live Paint Bucket tool. Select the Live Paint Bucket tool and click on the alternate areas like this. Then again change the fill color to black. With the live paint bucket tool still selected, click on the alternate areas like this. Click on the expand button in the top bar. Be sure to have all the objects selected and go to object, transform, rotate. Select the angle to 45 degree and click OK. Select the live paint bucket tool if you do not have it selected. As we still have the fill color set to black, click on the areas. And it's done if you enjoyed this video we would really appreciate a quick share and don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you